Hi guys, welcome back to Be Adventures. I figured I would do somewhat of an intro video today. So I've already covered it in my travel tip series. I did a whole series on different travel tips and and little helpful hints and whatever. But uh, I, know, I, I thought about time I make a dedicated video. So how it all started was I was stuck in an office job and I was very unhappy. And I was just, you know, just working, sleeping, you know, that's it. Uh, and my whole life was sort of dedicated to this office job and career, which went very well, don't get me wrong. And I've certainly worked very hard throughout my whole life. So for those of you who think I'm rich, I put myself through school. Uh, for those of you who maybe don't understand, so I worked very hard, studied, you know, paid for my own studies and built up a career path uh, in business. So I certainly did very well. And um, because I'd already had that background of working hard, saving up, paying off my studies or acquiring things. When my career went well, I continued to work hard and save, but then I was like, hey, I don't have a life. So I wanted to go out and do things, but I was pretty much married to my job. And I, um, that's all I did, just worked, worked, worked. Weekends, public holidays, I was that guy, you know, like everyone else is on leave at Christmas and I'm the guy getting called in at Christmas time, hey, there's an emergency, you need to come in and fix it. So I was that guy, right? So I said, look, uh, I've had enough of this, no more. You know, I'm certainly very grateful for those blessings and, and to have good work and to meet some amazing professionals, wonderful people. But I thought, no, look, I've got, I got to go out and live my life, you know. So what happened was it was actually a reunion and some, they were actually the old high school crowd. They wanted to go to Thailand. So they were like, hey, look, we're doing this reunion in Thailand, in Phuket, Thailand. All right. So come on, book your ticket. We're going to meet up. And there was about a dozen, about 12 of us. And we're like, oh yeah, that'd be so cool. So like 12 guys and we're all calling each other. And you know, and some of them had moved away. So some were in different states, some were in different cities and we're all busy, some are even married now. So it's kind of like, oh, it's like that movie, The, the Hangover and you know, big get together and we're gonna go to Thailand. So we're all getting pumped up. Now life being life, talk is cheap, right? So all these guys, yeah, 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 we're going to come, we're going to come. Oh, yeah, we're saving up the money. Oh, yeah, let's do it. Uh, six months, now three months. And we're like, guys, who's actually coming? You know, and it was myself and D, Big D. He's the friend in the Thai videos. So Big D, you know, Big Islander guy. And, uh, and me, we're all the only ones who worked hard, who saved up, were dedicated. Don't get me wrong, we got awesome, we got a really good deal on flights. We got um, some flights on sale uh, that, that, you know, we booked the hotels online ourselves. We did a lot of research ourselves. D had already been to Thailand, I think, a few times, once or twice. Yeah, twice. So he he was already experienced, you know, in Thailand. So he's like, "Relax, man. Everything's cool. Just book your flights and book the hotel. We'll do this." So what happened to the other ten guys? You know, so they couldn't come. So they were like, "Look, can you can you make some videos? Maybe you can share it with us when you come back." And I'm like, "Yeah, cool." So I started. I just did it for fun, just for them. No one else. I never expected to put it on YouTube and have this channel and you know that's what went down. So then finally, you know, I just showed them privately, uh, you know, at a friend's house we put the videos on the TV and we're like, "Oh, cool. Oh, Thailand. Oh, cool." And then another friend suggested, "Look, why don't you put it on YouTube and make a channel?" So the trip was actually in 2012, but I actually posted it on YouTube in 2013. So that's why I often refer to years. So, for example, Vietnam was in 2013 and I posted it in 2013, so I posted it at the same time. And then, sorry, and then I re-released it. I re-released the Vietnam series in 2015. So anyway, so that was that. And I thought, hey, look, uh, it's not like I'm addicted to travel, but this is cool. There's a bigger world out there. Remember, I've come from a background of working hard, you know, studying, working, studying, working, and that's it. And I'm like, hey, there's, there's, there's a bigger world, you know. And Australia is, is somewhat of a smaller country. Our population is approximately about 20 million at the moment, at this point in time. So just to give you an idea, I mean, there's more people in Southern California or there's more people in California than there is in Australia, you know, but uh, not that that's a bad thing, just to give you an idea. So it's like, okay, I'm going out, I'm exploring the world, having this great time. And I traveled before. So I'd already traveled before when I was younger with my family. So I'd been to Italy. Uh, I keep saying Holland, but Holland is in Netherlands. So I actually went to Amsterdam specifically. Um, very cool place. Uh, I didn't do drugs there, but you can smoke marijuana and there's red light districts and all these things. But anyway, but I have a, a very cool friend, Travel Grill from um, Amsterdam. And I have some very cool friends in California too. Uh, Seth and Lynn, you know. <laughs> anyway, so, and Justin. 
Justin, if you're watching. Um, yeah, back on track. So I went, okay, you know, still working, still focusing on the career. And then a friend got married in um, Vietnam. So he was like, hey, you know, he's a really cool guy. And he, he met a Vietnamese girl here in Australia, but they wanted to marry in Vietnam. So that was for David and Lynn's wedding. And then, you know, had, had this awesome trip in uh, Vietnam. That was, that was perfect. You know, wonderful people. And then a Filipina friend, she invited me to travel to Philippines. So that's when I went to Philippines. Uh, so this is around 2013. And at this stage also, I'm changing my lifestyle. I'm like, you know, I'm cutting down the work. I'm not taking these stressful jobs, you know. Even if they're offering, they'll, they just keep offering more money. I was like, no, I don't, I don't want these stressful jobs. You know, I'm just getting more and more stressed. I don't have a life. And there's a bigger world out there I want to explore. So again, the advantage of working hard, you know, don't get me wrong, that's, that's why it's important to work hard when you're young, build up, you know, whatever, your savings, your career, your education, all those things, so that you can do what you want later. So that's kind of that new chapter or that point that I was at. And remember, this is around 2013. So, uh, what happened then? Okay, so I went to Philippines. I had a, if you watch season one, season one is actually two trips. I went in 2013 and I went again in 2014. So... They were back-to-back -back trips. What had happened was I'd had a mixed experience 2013, first trip to the Philippines. Crossed over into 2014 because of New Year's. It was around that Christmas, New Year's time. I came back, I was unhappy. So I went back again for 2014 for my friend's wedding. Oh, the most beautiful wedding in my life. You know, beautiful wedding in uh, Davao City in the Philippines. So season one is actually two trips. For those of you who, who don't understand the timeline. Uh... And then I went back again, what was that, season two? That was 2015. <laughs> and then I was exploring, you know, like the Negros Oriental area, you know, Dumaguete and all that. And then Mindanao. I was really, that was really cool, got to explore some more of Mindanao region. And here we are now in 2016. So I recently announced I will be going back to Philippines again. Uh, so it's going to be it's going to be great because it's all new locations. We've got... Got a lot of surprises planned, hopefully it works out. You know, that's just the nature of it. But I just wanted to do this sort of intro video. Okay guys, so basically, that's sort of where the channel's gone. If you look at my very, very early videos, like, you know, just amateur videos, I originally actually wanted to have an outdoor channel. Just because, again, remember, coming from that office, stressful work lifestyle of not having much of a life, I wanted to get outdoors more, so I craved what I did not have. You know, I wanted to get out to nature and go hiking and get exercise. I was also very unhealthy at that point in time. Uh, I did look very different. Even if you look at photos of me from back then, I won't show them. I actually looked older. I looked much older because I was so stressed and, and you know, very unhealthy, like food and unhealthy lifestyle. So that's why I wanted to get into this whole healthy lifestyle and exercise more. So the point is I wanted to do more outdoor adventures and I wanted to do gear reviews. So I've always liked gear reviews and you know, I watch them online, you know, I watch the other guys. And, you know, big respect to TNP. For those of you who know TNP, the owl is on the shed. For, for those of you, you know, if you know TNP, you know, you know what's going on, you know. But I uh, know the, the Nut and Fancy project. And he calls himself Nut and Fancy for a reason. He's just like, hey, I'm not fancy. I just do gear reviews. He's really cool. I, I like him. So shout out to Nut and Fancy. But, uh, you know, it was guys like that. There's many other great ones. And I thought, hey, this is really cool. I'd love to do gear reviews. So I never really thought that I, I could do it, but now I'm making all, all these travel videos, so I thought, look, you know what, I'm going to try the gear review thing, so you, you're going to see some more of that. It's something that I've wanted to do, and also I've built up a lot of experience, so now I've been using the gear for travel, for example, so I can do reviews on the things I use for travel, such as cameras, uh, you know, tripods, and all that sort of stuff. Um, maybe that helps. That's also a common question. A lot of people ask me, what sort of gear do I use, what sort of camera and equipment, blah, blah, blah. So that's something you're going to start seeing, uh, you know, some more gear reviews. So you're going to see, of course, be adventures, more adventures, more travel, more beautiful women. <laughs> uh, gear reviews, uh, you know, of course, outdoor adventures. You see that through my travels anyway. And yeah, so hopefully exciting times. Um, looking forward to the following year and of course, yeah, future years. But thank you for watching this far. Welcome to the channel if you're new. And of course... I'll see you in the next video.